friends. It's me, Olivia. I'm so glad to see you again. Today we are going to learn about the cars. A car is a vehicle that can carry small number of passengers and it is moved by an engine. The cars have made it easy for us to move around. Back then the people had to live closer to their jobs, but now they can live farther. Parts of a car. Most of the cars have the same parts. The outer part of the car is what encloses the vehicle's mechanical parts and its passengers. The body is attached to the chassis. This frame holds together the rest of the car which includes the engine, the steering system, the brakes and wheels. Let's look at other parts of the car. Bumper. Tire. Outside mirror. Door. Handle. Hubcaps. Muffler. Tail light. Fuel tank. Roof. Window. Antenna. Windshield. Wiper. Hood. And headlight. How a car works. A driver operates a car by pressing on pedals to make it go and stop and by turning the steering wheel to guide where the car goes. History of the cars. The first true automobile was a machine that had three wheels and was powered by steam. It was built by Nicolas Joseph Cugnot of France in 1769. It was heavy and moved very slowly. The water had to be brought to a boil before the car could go. In the same period cars run by electric motors were made. They ran smoothly and were easy to operate. However, they did not run well at high speeds. They also had to have their batteries recharged every 50 miles. Then the gas engines were invented in 1860 by Etienne Lenoir of France. The German Nikolaus Otto built an improved gasoline engine in 1876. It wasn't until 1893 in the United States that the brothers Charles E. and J. Frank Durier built the first successful gasoline-powered car. Since then the cars have been manufactured and sold worldwide. Thank you for learning about the cars with me. Until next time, bye!